Catherine, how important is this transition period right now? I mean, <laughs> Labour's got big hopes for completely changing the way Whitehall works in its attempt to try and deliver what it has promised. Yeah, I mean, like anything like this, you can, you know, you only have one chance to have that sort of first meeting with the public having been elected. Um, I think, that, you know, the difficulty is, as as Lucy's been alluding to, is the scale of the inheritance. Uh, you know, we've talked about it, the state of public services, but the other problem that they've got is obviously the state of the public finances. So you haven't got a government that's come in and it's able to start announcing lots of money pots. Uh, so obviously the actions that they are taking, they're all on issues that are live, uh, urgent, need tackling. Uh, but yeah, it is, you know, the second full day of the government. So of course, they're going to be doing things like setting up meetings or uh, starting recruitment mm. for the border security and so forth. So I think it's pretty natural. It does show that they came in with a plan for those early announcements to so start to show progress. Obviously, when we get the King's speech, Speech through, we'll start to see what the legislation for the next year or so looks like. It won't be till the autumn that we start hearing about budgets and spending reviews and get really into the meat yeah. of what might happen. Tony Blair famously complained about pulling levers in government and discovering they weren't connected to anything. And in his memoir, lamented how little he managed to reform public services in his first term, despite a massive majority. I mean, of course, Keir, Keir Starmer's team knows all this. How are they trying to ensure that this time is different. We've heard about the mission boards. They've obviously got Sue Gray at the heart of things. What's yeah. happening? What's going to happen in terms of the inner workings of government? Yeah, I mean, one thing that was noticeable about the mission boards is that Starmer himself wants to take a leading hand in that, perhaps again taking a leaf out of Blair's book by chairing those mission boards. But there will be leads for the particular areas. I mean, we're still waiting to hear a lot of detail on that, you know, how they'll operate day to day, uh, what kind of support they'll have at the cabinet office. There will be some kind of delivery unit, uh, missions deliveries, uh, you know, all of these things though, but it will be how that plays out in terms of then, as you say, pulling those, it's not even just pulling those levers. It's you pull those levers, they lead to another load of levers throughout the system. And then somewhere at the end of it all, action may happen, but even then you've got to wait and see, okay, well, what does that lead to in terms of, you know, outcomes? 